Wow. Oh my God. Is that you? That photo it? is me. It doesn't yes. look like you. That's when you were younger? That's my face. A photo I haven't seen in years. Found in seconds by the facial recognition app Clearview AI. So it works, right? This New York Times investigation woke us all up. The realization, privacy may be a thing of the past. And that's because of this guy, Wonton Tat, the creator of Clearview AI. Well, quite simply, Clearview is basically a search engine for faces. Think about the photos you've posted online, or photos that others have posted of you. There's a good chance he's collected them. His app has scraped billions of images from sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Google to use in a facial recognition system. He claims more than 600 law enforcement agencies in the US and Canada are using it, though it's unclear how many have actually paid for it. So that's the photo of you. So this is a, a photo of me from CNN.com. Wow. <laughs> We're starting to see pictures of me that are not from that original image. This is from Medium. Tech giants aren't happy about this. They say it violates their terms of service and have sent cease and desist letters. LinkedIn, Twitter, YouTube. So this, this photograph is from uh, my local newspaper. This AI technology is looking at what it's looking the at. The unique features, so it learns to ignore things a little bit like the beard and fe focus on the features that stay the same across uh, you know, different age. Do you understand why people find this creepy? I can understand people having concerns around privacy. So the first part to remember, it's only publicly available information. We're not just making technology for its own sake. The reason and the purpose we found is to really help law enforcement solve crime. I was deeply disturbed. I was concerned about how Clearview had amassed its database of images. I was concerned about its data privacy, uh, and I was concerned that it was tracking law enforcement searches. Clearview clearly claims that it works. I mean, they said here in New Jersey, it was used to identify a suspected child predator last year. Uh, in these, these sting operations that we do, we have a trained detective who's online uh, pretending to be a teen or a minor. So we know that the person has committed a crime. We know that they're coming to the undercover location where law enforcement will arrest them. What we don't know is who is this person, but what we do have is a picture that they've sent to the undercover. And so the Clearview app was used to get the name of the individual coming uh, to the undercover location. We wanted to find out, well, does this person have firearms? Do they have a violent history? That's how that tool was used in that particular case. It wasn't used to develop the probable cause to arrest that person. It was used for law enforcement safety purposes. Are you concerned about taking a tool as powerful as that out of the hands of law enforcement? I'm not categorically opposed to the use of facial recognition technology. A facial recognition tool can be used properly if we understand how the database is created. Whether or not facial recognition is a very effective tool for criminal investigation, we can think of that question as a little bit beside the point. The question is, what do we want police to be able to know about us, considering most of us really haven't done anything that warrants our information being in law enforcement databases? So I'm going to ask my producer, Risha, sure. to also run her face through this. OK. Right. Do you have much social media? I'm out there. Let's see. So you never had a demo fail. You've never had a demo fail? So far. Oh, God. First. Wait, this is Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm private on Instagram. Oh, that's someone, that's, else. that's someone else's Instagram. So yeah, it's but only wait, publicly available. That's, wait, but that's mine too. So this is, you were public for a while? We only I take... was public at one point, and then I went private. So you know those can... So if I go public, and that's, that's my Instagram too, and I'm private now, but I was public at one point. If an image is publicly available, Clearview's technology is capable of grabbing it. It doesn't matter if you delete it later or change the privacy settings. It doesn't even matter if somebody posted it without your knowledge or permission. My dad doesn't have a Facebook account, but I've put photos of my dad up online. Is your view that by him consenting to get a photo taken, he has inadvertently consented to being in your database. Did you post it publicly? Yes. Yeah. And uh, did you say, hey, Dad, I'm going to put this on the No, internet. probably not. Oh, interesting. So, but, you know, so that's on me view, then. Yeah. And it's also our view that you know, it's for this use case, say, 
not your dad, but someone else was in the background of that photo, and uh, that could lead to solving the crime, then it's a good thing. Clearview claims its app is 99% accurate, a claim that CNN hasn't verified. What if it identifies the wrong person and that leads to a wrongful conviction? Are you worried about that? Yeah, I, we don't want that to happen at all. And so that's why the way it's currently used in all the law enforcement agencies around the US is to make sure it's just a lead. I haven't spoken with any law enforcement agencies who think that facial recognition IDs should be used as evidence in court. They're just interested in using it as an investigative tool, which I think also mitigates a little bit of the community concern. We need to have guidelines in place for law enforcement officers. Who's authorized to use this tool? Are they trained on it? And then when they get those results, are they trained then to know that it's only a lead? So you think this is an area that should be regulated? Yeah, absolutely. I don't think regulation is a bad thing, and we want to work with the government to create something that is uh, safe. Have you met with any, any legislators yet? Yeah, we've had meetings so far. Have you met yeah. with? Um, Ago, we met with some people and we're going to do more meetings in the future. Yeah. You don't want to name any of them? No, it's between us for now. I would imagine you must be preparing for some cases that will be landmark cases that, that set a precedent in this area. Yeah, I think that it's a, a very... You're going to have a lot of days in court. Um, Are you prepared for that? Sure, yeah. I don't think there'll be that many, but you know. <laughs>